Mr. Riley steadfastly endeavored to improve the welfare of his fellow citizens and his legislative accomplishments were numerous. This past legislative session, the House of Representatives recognized the work and efforts of longtime state representative and community leader, Kevin Riley Sr. Let's give a warm welcome to Riley family. Treasure. Legislators, staffers, and everyone who knew or worked with Kevin Sr. showed their appreciation to Kevin's wife, Ann D.D. Riley, as well as his children, their spouses, grandkids, and friends. For 16 years as a representative and another nine years as secretary of the Department of Economic Development, Kevin Riley Sr. was a fixture at the state capitol. Almost everyone took time out to reflect on the man who did so much for the state of Louisiana. Of all the stuff Kevin did, um, the, the one that I admired him most for was creating the Louisiana Educational Quality Trust Fund. Back in the mid-1980s, we got in uh, about $500 million from a settlement with the federal government. Everybody around here wanted to spend it. Kevin said, no, no, we're saving this money. We're putting it in a trust fund, and he did. We're putting it in the Constitution, and he did. That's over a billion dollars today. The earnings go to education. That's because of Kevin Riley. Baton Rouge Representative Kevin Riley Sr., who chaired the powerful House Appropriations Committee, was not always revered by everyone for his position on what to do with the federal settlement funds. And at times, he would summon his Irish roots to fight for what he thought was the right thing to do. For his tireless efforts and as a small token of appreciation, Senator Sharon Broom authored Senate Bill 229, renaming the Louisiana Education Quality Trust Fund as the Kevin P. Riley Sr. Louisiana Education Quality Trust Fund. So we thought it would be a fitting tribute to rename the fund after him because of his commitment to education. And those who knew Kevin Riley Sr. Uh, certainly knew him as a man who was very committed not only to education, but to the uplifting of our state, of our community, and of our citizens. We're Louisianans by choice, not by birth. And we love it. Helping others, giving back, and simply doing what's right. Those were some of the tenets of Kevin Riley Sr. And today, more than a year after his death, his legacy and namesake are visible throughout the region. The O'Brien House, a residential addiction treatment center and community outreach facility, is just one example of his philanthropic efforts. I think part of the success of O'Brien House, certainly it moving up to the plateau it's on now, can be traced to uh, Kevin's involvement and his support of O'Brien House. Originally from Boston, Massachusetts, Kevin Riley Sr. graduated from Harvard University before serving in the U.S. Navy during the early 50s. In 1952, he married Anne Lamar Switzer, better known as Dee Dee. A year later, they moved down to Baton Rouge to help run Dee Dee's struggling family billboard business. For more than 30 years as chairman and CEO, Kevin Riley Sr. built Lamar Advertising into the country's premier outdoor billboard company. Kevin's knowledge of the advertising industry, along with his political experience and his emphasis on education, helped form a lasting relationship with the faculty and staff at the LSU Manship School of Mass Communication. Kevin and Dee Dee made a number of contributions to the school through the years. In 1997, his children established the Kevin P. Riley Sr. Chair in Political Communication at the Manship School of Mass Communication. If you were trying to think of a person who, who epitomizes the kinds of things we care about at the school, the ethics of what he do, uh, did and the fact that he also understood that these were good business practices uh, and that he advanced government and was honest and uh, a real champion of, of, uh, of, of what, I would, what I would think is a, a, a well-functioning democracy, uh, then he's somebody that really speaks for our school and will for eternity. The Rileys have also contributed generously to the endowment for the Riley Center for Media and Public Affairs, the only such institute in the United States to focus primarily upon the study of media and public affairs. In 2002, Riley and his wife received honorary doctorates from LSU, his adopted alma mater. Yet another small token of appreciation for a man who has given back so much to this university and to the state of Louisiana. You know, uh, I think it was President Lincoln who said, 
We're all born originals, but sadly, because of peer pressure, we all die copies. Kevin was born an original, and he left this world to, the, to a better world, an original. I, I don't think I've ever met anybody like him. Uh, I don't know anybody who's contributed more to the state. Congratulations to Kevin Riley Sr., 2013 member of the LSU Manship School of Mass Communication Hall of Fame.